let's learn about servo motors so you have many types of motors you would have seen uh, this type of a motor this is a regular dc motor uh, this one has a gear attached to it and uh, this motor when you supply voltage can simply uh, rotate continuously and if you uh, flip the polarity the positive and negative terminals then you can make the motor go either clockwise or anti clockwise this is a dc motor but it has a gear assembly inside and hence this uh, geared dc motor has a very high torque torque is the rotational force so these type of geared motors uh, are used in robotic projects or wherever you have a heavy load that you need to rotate so this here is a micro servo motor so the difference between a dc motor and a servo motor is that in a servo motor we can define how much we want the motor to rotate and these servo motors typically rotate 180 degrees so we can define that uh, we want something attached to this motor to turn 15 degrees or 90 degrees or uh, anything up to 180 degrees so these positional micro servos are used for projects like animatronics or uh, maybe making a physical switch where you want something to move uh, only to a certain distance or for example in uh, the car wipers similar to this micro servo motor is this continuous servo motor so in this motor basically there are two kind of uh, blocks attached and that's why it can only go 180 degrees 0 to 180 degrees and those uh, blocks are removed in a continuous servo so continuous servo will rotate continuously much like a regular dc motor but we can control the speed at which it moves as also we can control whether it will move in a clockwise direction or a anti clockwise direction plus continuous servo motors also have uh, this little screw here which is used to calibrate them and then this here is another uh, servo it's a it's a regular uh, servo it's just that it's bigger so servos typically come in three sizes but uh, these two this servo and this servo they work exactly the same way the model number of this servo motor is sg90 so if you search for the data sheet for sg90 online then you will get all the details so for example for this you have the dimensions uh, you have the speed you have the torque and most importantly you have the voltage so this servo sg90 works on a voltage between 4.8 volts to 6 volts which means that we can connect it directly to uh, our arduino using the 5 volt supply and then when it comes to the pin out of the servos there are three pins you have the ground pin you have the voltage pin and you have the signal pin which is called the pwm the pulse width modulation pin uh, but let's just call it a signal pin for now so let's now program a servo using an arduino on tinkercad so i'm here on tinkercad and i have started a new project i'm going to rename this so for this project we first need an arduino and then we need a servo motor the servo motor pins are ground power and signal from the ground pin of the arduino i'm going to pull a wire and attach it to the ground of the servo then i'm going to get a 5 volt wire from the 5 volt pin of the arduino and attach it to my servo and finally i'm going to take a wire from the signal pin and i'm going to attach it to one of the digital pins let's say pin number 6 then let's code so in the output blocks you have this one command rotate servo attached to a particular pin to certain degrees and in our case our servo is on pin 6 so i'm going to say pin 6 and let's try uh, let's say 35 degrees so we start the simulation and our servo rotates 35 degrees let's try 90 degrees uh, 
our servo turns 90 degrees and if I try anything over 180 degrees let's say 240 degrees and I start the simulation then the servo only turns 180 degrees because it cannot go beyond 180 degrees. So now that we understand how to program a servo let's make some project uh, let's say we are going to make the wipers of a car. So the wipers will simply go from 0 to 180 degrees and then back and then keep making this uh, sweeping motion continuously. So for this I'm going to say go to 180 degrees the servo will be at 0 degrees so it will go to 180 degrees then in from control I'm going to get a weight so it's going to wait and then I'm just duplicating these two blocks and I'm saying come back to 0 degrees and this is inside a loop so this will keep getting repeated. Let's test our program. So our servo is rotating but it's not very smooth and the uh, reason why it's not so smooth is because for the servo to go from 0 to 180 degrees it takes certain amount of time and we need to give the servo that much time so we have to increase this weight so I'm going to say let's make it 1 point let's say 7 seconds and same here 1.7 seconds and then start the simulation. So now we have a smooth continuous motion. Next let's put this code on an Arduino and physically make this model. Servo motors come with uh, some attachments that you can put onto the gear and then use the screw to fix them properly. So I have already fixed this arm on the servo and then uh, I'm going to take my Arduino and I'm going to take the code that we have written and I'm going to transfer it to this Arduino. So on Tinkercad in code under blocks I'm going to choose blocks plus text then I'm going to just copy all this code and I'm going to launch the Arduino IDE. I'm going to delete what is there and I'm going to paste this code. I'm going to verify this code. I'm going to give it a name Arduino Servo and it's compiling this sketch. No errors are found. So I'm going to transfer it to my Arduino. So now the program is transferred to my Arduino. So here I have fixed three jumper cables. I fixed a black color cable to ground, red color cable to VCC and a yellow color jumper cable to, to the signal pin of my servo and I'm going to fix these to the Arduino. The signal pin will go to digital pin 6 on the Arduino and the red one will go to 5 volts and the black one will go to ground. And here we have our servo motor making a sweeping motion just as we have coded it for. So this is like the windshield wiper of a car. So using all these other components you can make some very interesting projects using servos especially when you add sensors to the Arduino and then the input from the sensor will drive the motion on this servo motor. So use your imagination and make some interesting projects.